light. It can make us feel on edge or scared and terrify us with a torch flicker. Give warmth and scope. Whilst being aligned with a sunrise. Me? It can tackle similar scenarios with a harsh light, right emitting here. a dark undertone. Who did you leave him with? Did or soft light, which can imply a fuck memory. Fuck but what happens when a light is added or removed from a scene? Does the mood change? And if so, to what outcome? This is Into the Light. Since the birth of film in 1895, light's role has been crucial to every production. Films quickly moved indoors, where more control could be had over their productions. making the stars easier to light in their most iconic fashions. Expert cinematographer John Bailey explains why they were lit in such a fashion. The dominance of the actor and the actress is the driving engine of, of the Hollywood movies dictated a certain kind of vocabulary that basically were medium shots, close-ups, over the shoulders, and the principle was to make the actors, especially the leading actor and actress, look as handsome and as beautiful as possible. So the aim was to make them beautiful. What would happen if we removed 50% of the high key light from this scene? Her face is now partially shadowed and lost the Hollywood shine. Now let's completely remove the high key light. Her beauty is now hidden and her face is cast in shadow, creating a dark and dramatic mood. As the shadows increased and the drama rose, introducing film noir. Using hard shadows from often only one light source, it glorified the shadows. Famous cinematographer John Alton is quoted as saying, when there is no light, one cannot see. And when one cannot see, his imagination starts to run wild. He begins to suspect that something is about to happen. In the dark, there is mystery. This is a scene from Anthony Mann's film, T-Men. Let's recreate this scene under the same lighting conditions. Now let's add one fill light. The shadow on the face has all but gone. The mystery that film noir relies on is destroyed, all because of one small light. Known by his peers as the Prince of Darkness for his sparing use of light, Gordon Willis is best known for his work in the Godfather trilogy. Using a soft light from above and shadowing the eyes, he created an effect that had not been seen before. Here, Willis explains why. I just simply pictured things a different way, and uh, in some cases it caused a ruckus now and then, you know, because it's like saying, well, we can't do that because that's never been done before, you know. Well, I never did it in that spirit, I just simply did it because I liked it. Let's look at the effect Gordon achieved in the opening scene. America has made my fortune, and I raised my daughter in the American fashion. I gave her freedom, but... I taught her neighbor to dishonor her family. She found a boyfriend, not an Italian. She went to the movies with him. She stayed out late. Got a lot of criticism because they said, well, you can't see Brando's eyes. There were times in some of his scenes where I deliberately did not want to see his eyes so that you saw this mysterious um, human being thinking about something or about to do something, but you didn't really know what the hell was going on. Now let's look at a recreation of the same scene under the same lighting conditions. I believe in America. The eyes are shrouded. America has made my fortune. You cannot truly see the full face. My daughter, in there is an element of mystery. I gave her freedom. 
The slow zoom out adds very little light and it maintains its intensity. Now let's add one fill light. The eyes are now clear. No shadows cast from above. It has made his appearance softer. All details can be seen in his eyes, taking away any mystery that may have been there. Willis had the option of another route, called underlighting. White dwarf heading for a black hole. That's physics. It's inevitable. You won't get away with it. Time will tell. Often seen being used by villains where they are lit from below. Let's see the same scene again with underlighting. Albeit from a different angle, he does seem more villainous. But this lighting method doesn't fit context of the scene. It changes the mood into almost horror. Willis admits he did not always get it right. I may have gone too far a couple of times. I think there was a scene between Al and his mother, uh, who was played by Morgana King in part two. I did one scene, I went too far. The difference one light can have has been shown clearly. Whether it's a positive or a negative, adds or subtracts, one light will change a scene dramatically.